Everyone has a favorite place. It's a place that people start to feel that well, their heart slows down and their, their breathing slows down and they feel that they're becoming anchored in that environment. It's a place that makes you feel alive and where you, where you feel at rest. For John Muir, it was Yosemite. He traveled extensively, but his favorite place was Yosemite National Park. Not just the Sierra Nevada, but this national park, which he is more responsible for its creation than just about anyone else. So when I think of John Muir, I think of someone who was in love, in love with mountains, in love with sky, in love with the land. And he did his utmost to preserve that which for him was sacred. So it's not just a national park. For John Muir, it was sacred space. It was sacred earth. And the native peoples here felt something very similar, but for a much longer extent of time, going deep into Yosemite's history before it became a national park. But we know today, when we think of John Muir, we also think of Yosemite, the place that he loved the most. So when you're here, walking in Yosemite, traveling through Yosemite, you literally are following in the footsteps of someone whose dream became reality. And that dream is Yosemite National Park.